Hello, in this video I'm going to take you from start to finish for mail merge. We're going to start by creating a data file. We'll learn how to modify the data file and eventually how to add fields, delete fields, and then filter which records we want to show up on the mail merge. We'll also create a mail merge letter that will include custom information from the merge data file. And finally, we'll merge the two together. So we're going to start by creating the data file. So I have the beginning of a letter here, Harry's Hatchery, and I'm going to turn this into a mail merge so that I can send this out in a custom form letter to multiple clients. So I'll click on the Mailings tab, and then I need to select the recipients, and that's where I'm telling Microsoft Word who to send out mail merge letters to. Well, if I had an existing list, and that existing list could be an Outlook file, an Access Database file, or most commonly an Excel file, I could just choose use an existing list and navigate to that. In this case though, I'm going to show you, just in case you don't have any data files already in existence, how to create one from scratch. So I'm going to choose Type a New List. Well, here I have fields that I can just start filling in. I have a title field, a first name, a last name, a company name, addresses, city, state, zip, country, home phones, and email addresses. And that's a very, very good start. But I want to modify this for Harry's Hatchery just a little bit. So I'm going to click on Customize Columns. Now, just to show you how, um, we don't have to keep all the fields that Microsoft Word has given for us here by default. And so I'm going to decide in this case I don't need the title. So I'll click on the title field in this customize address list and I'll choose delete. It asks me am I sure I want to do that? And of course I am. I'll also go ahead and get rid of the country or region. Not that I'm uh, you know, not going to use that sometimes but in this case we'll just assume for demonstration purposes we don't need that. Okay now I'm just going to add one additional field just to show you that we can. So I'll go down to the bottom because I want the new field to be at the bottom here. And I'm going to go ahead and click Add. And I'm going to type Last Purchase. We'll call this field the last type of animal, last, last type of hatchling they purchased from us. Okay, so there's my modified address list, the modified fields. And again, I could easily do this in Excel. But I'll go ahead and click OK. And now I'm ready to go ahead and fill in the new customized address list. So I'll start here with John Smith. We'll put in a company name here of uh, Smith's Hatch Smith's Eggs. And 123 Main Street. And we'll put him in Boise, Idaho. 83705. I'll skip the phone numbers just so you don't have to watch me type here. I'll put in an email address here of jsmith at gmail. And the last purchase that he made were chickens. And I press enter. And now I'm ready to go ahead and add a new entry. All right, we'll put in here uh, Susan Jones. No company name, she's at 88 Oak Street. And uh, she lives in Clarkston, Washington, 99403. No, skip the phones again, and we'll put in here uh, 123 at Gmail. And she purchased ducks the last time she purchased from us. All right, we'll do one more entry here. And we'll do Raul Lopez. And he won't have a company name either. And we'll put him at 222 Mallard Way. And we will put him also in Boise, Idaho. 83705. Skip the phones. All right, and his last purchase were geese. Okay, I'll go ahead and click OK. I've modified the address list, my recipients list. I've uh, added some additional fields, and I've filled in some data. 
it asks me now okay do we want to save it and you do want to pay attention to where this is saving it's going to automatically default into your documents my data sources if you wanted to keep it someplace else you could just uh, navigate to that particular uh, folder but just remember to go back to that folder when you're looking for it and we'll just simply call this Harry's clients okay well now I'm ready to go ahead and perform the mail merge so I'm gonna go back make sure I'm on the mailings tab here and the first thing I'd like up in the beginning of the letter is the date now I want to be able to use this mail merge letter again and again and again and so I don't want to put today's date here because if I ran this form letter tomorrow or next month I don't want it to show up with an incorrect date so I'm going to put in a special field from the quick parts tool so I'm going to the insert tab I'm going to quick parts and I'm going to go to field and I'm going to choose the date and time category date and time category I'm going to choose create date and that will create the date every time the merge is done and it will show the date that the letter went out I choose the format and I click OK it doesn't look any different but if it um, we were actually to mail it we would actually see that it is quite different here okay now I'd like to go ahead and put in the address the name and the address of the person that's getting this letter so I'm going to go back to mailings and Microsoft Word makes this very very easy especially if I've used the correct names in uh, my, my data file I can choose address block and then I can choose how I would like that address to appear this is great for envelopes too and we'll cover envelopes in a next another video here so I'm going to go ahead and choose this uh, this one here that gives me the complete name and the complete address so I'll go ahead and click OK and again we have the address block uh, and that will show up when we actually do the merge so I'll drop down a couple lines and I'll put in dear now if I just wanted to call them by first name I, I do have a greeting line here but I'd like to just bring in just the first name so we have dear Josh dear whoever it is here okay I'll just make a real quick letter here we want to know we want to let you know that our chickens are on sale come by and see okay well again just keeping it very simple here um, now if I've got chickens on sale I probably don't want to send this to someone that bought only ducks or only geese so I have the ability now to choose from my data file and my data file in this case only has three records but if I had a thousand records I could still easily choose through a filter so I'm gonna click on edit recipients list and I'm going to click on my data source here and I'm going to click edit here are the three records and I will scroll again and just remember that uh, we did keep track of what they bought so in this case I have one that bought chickens one that bought ducks and one that bought geese and so if I filter and I only choose chickens well there will only be one letter uh, that is the result of this merge and that's okay in this case so I'm going to go ahead and click on this drop down list here uh, by last purchase I'm going to choose advanced and here I can really sort by any field that I want to I'm going to go ahead and choose the field and we'll choose the last purchase field equal to chickens again you want to be very specific don't misspell chickens one place and spell it someplace different another place or you would not end up with all of the people that you wanted to send letters to this works for numeric fields as well uh, if you had a dollar amount for the amount that they purchased the last time and you only wanted to send this letter to your your high uh, high high buying customers you could do that too okay we'll click OK I'll click OK again it says uh, do you want to update this list yes I do now there's only one in the list that they're not lost uh, they're just filtered out I, I could bring them back at any time uh, just by changing the filter well I'll go ahead and click OK now again there might be a hundred uh, customers that are buying chickens in this case so there's only one I go ahead now and go ahead and click on finish and merge and just because I want to see the individual results of the letters I'll go ahead and choose edit individual letters it asks me which ones do I want I could actually do it from uh, you know, record number one to record number three in this case I want all of them all of them that purchase chickens so I click OK and there we go John Smith's with Smith's eggs I want to let you know that your chickens are on our chickens are on sale come by and see and that's really all there is to it now 
I do have step-by-step -step instructions uh, for creating merged documents on my website, luthermaddy.com. I also have some sample data files so that you don't have to do all the typing. Thank you very much, and hopefully we'll see you in the next video where I discuss how to create envelopes from a mail merge.